Hey everyone, it's Goatee Winner here, and welcome back to another food review on my channel. For today's food review, food review, we are doing a nacho or the nacho cheese double crunch taco. I think it's what's called. It's like six words, five words, however many. Don't care. You're not here for that. You're here for the actual review itself. Um, so these are a dollar. Um, these are kind of like the cheesy gordita crunch in a way, which is like my favorite thing from Taco Bell. But I don't know, maybe. Grilled, grilled cheese burrito is pretty damn good. Um, not gonna lie, it's really good. But, um, so yeah, we're gonna try this. Uh, I'm just gonna take a couple bites without putting sauce on it, and then I'll put sauce on it. Um, I use, preferably I use hot and mild. I use the hot for the, the hot, like the actual, like, spicy part of it. And then mild for the, mild has the best taste. And then, yeah. All right, so let's go. First bite, see, I don't wanna drop anything on my floor. I have white carpet, so it's not gonna, yeah, that's close. That's just you, well, so, all right. So like I said, I'm gonna do first bite and then I'll put taco sauce on it and we'll go from there, so. It's literally just a regular hard taco, hard shell taco. There's little nacho, red little nacho chip strip things. And then a soft shell, like tortilla, put over it with a little bit of cheese in the middle. There's no sauce, it's just cheese, so. This is not like a cheesy, I mean, it kind of is like a cheesy gordita crunch as they have two different ones, but the taste is, no. I think I might have already done this. It tastes very familiar to me. I don't know, I don't know why, don't, this is actually a smart idea because the hard taco is always going to break and the soft taco will also keep in the content of the taco, which is a good idea. Um... Alright, let me see, you got two hots. Step one, so step aside, I do. I'm okay with that. Okay, I have to say a bunch of stupid crap. But yeah, so, I'm not bullshitting, I put hot on there. I, I don't remember what the hottest is, is extreme. Is that, was that what the hottest one is, or extra hot? I don't know what it's called, I've never used it. Um, like I said, I always use hot and mild, because... I don't want stuff to be too hot to where I can't enjoy it. I want to at least enjoy the food. Now, I will one day when um, the coronavirus is all done and over with, I am going to go to Buffalo Wild Wings and try the Blazing Wing Challenge. For sure, I already done made up my mind, and I'm going to I'm going to beat it easily. I'm easily going to beat the Blazing Wing Challenge. And my name's gonna go up on the wall, and I'm gonna get a t-shirt, and I'm gonna record it all for you guys. But when that day, you have to wait. But when that day comes, I will do it for sure. I really want to. One of my friends told me to do it, and I was like, eh, I kind of chickened out. And then I had Buffalo Wild Wings not too long ago, like I think a week or two ago. And uh, I changed my mind, so I look forward to that. But I put more sauce on the, the taco just now, so. Well, I put sauce on the taco. There wasn't sauce on it previous. That's what I meant. Alright, so this pales in comparison to the grilled cheese burrito. Um, I mean, this is good for a dollar. 
This is better than the other tacos. This would be 10 times better if it was a Doritos Loco, Loco Taco. Loco Taco. Um, that was in this and then the soft taco around it. Make it 10 times better. The flavor would burst out more. It'd be 10 times better. But of course, I didn't do that. Um, because then it probably wouldn't be a dollar, probably like two dollars. But for a dollar, this is probably easily the best taco they have at Taco Bell. Um, unless you just like regular hard tacos or just regular soft tacos. I, I then again, I don't know, I like this better personally. Um, everybody's different, so yeah. Uh, I'm gonna give this like a, a three. Uh, no, because I said 4.5 for the grill. Maybe I should up my rating to 10 because this 1 to 5 isn't enough. Alright, for grilled cheese, I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to do. I'm gonna start doing scales out of 10. This is The grilled cheese is easily a 9 or an 8. I'll give it an 8. A solid 8. And for this, the nacho double crunch taco, whatever the hell it's called. Um... Hmm. Well, if I go eight, if I go six, then this is, that's, I'm gonna give it a five, a five. That's, yeah, in the middle. It's not great, but it's not bad at all. Um, yeah, give it a five. The grilled, the grilled nacho cheese, an eight. Uh, well, no, probably 8.5 8. for grilled cheese. I keep changing my mind. But uh, let me guys know, let me, Know down in the comments below if you guys have tried the new um, the new taco and the new grilled cheese burrito down below in the comments. Uh, recommend anything you want me to do for food or drink reviews, and then any music reactions you want me to react to, I will get to it whenever I get my computer back. So, yeah, this is Goatee Warner signing off. Until next time, hope to see you guys then.